BDSM is the short form for bondage, um, dominance, discipline, submission, masochism. And this is a situation where a lady or man only enjoys um, sexual interaction when they're being brutalized. So it's either they're being bitten or they're tied to the bed or tied to something. It has to be associated, as associated with pain. And oftentimes the question you get is, how does a woman get into this place where she only enjoys sexual interaction when it is painful, when there has to be some sort of bitting, hitting, um, tying to the bed and what have you. And today I'm going to be sharing one way um, through which this can actually become a lady's reality. Now, a lady can get into this kind of passing or become this kind of passing um, if she has been sexually abused. So I'm talking about it's possible that she's been raped or maybe molested. Now let's break it down. So it's possible that a lady was abused sexually as a young girl, five, six, seven, by probably an adult, well, normally an adult, maybe a teacher, um, a, an uncle, a relative, a dad, whatever it is. Now, at this time, imagine it's never, ever going to be pleasurable. So it's possible that this adult forced her, obviously, or, you know, told her that if you tell anybody I'm going to deal with you, probably pushed her to the bed or pushed her to a place, was forcefully um, having sexual interaction with this child. Now imagine this child, this is all this child has known, grows up into an adult. Her first experience of sex was coerced, forced, and very brutal. This child then grows up into an adult who meets a man who, you know, she's married to and now he's trying to have sexual interaction with her in the subtle way. It's possible that she now finds that Mm, I don't like this because the first experience I had, this was it. And she finds herself in this space where, although she knows that what happened to her was not the right thing, she doesn't have the capacity to separate that wrong from this good. And now this good now begins to look like it's a bad thing. Let me give you another scenario. A lady was raped. As you know, rape is not a pleasurable thing. It's not something that a woman willingly does. It's called rape because it was forced. Again, this woman was forced into sexual interaction. And then she meets a man who wants to be gentle. Imagine now, let's put it together. A lady at five, six was sexually assaulted forcefully. She's grown up again, probably this sexual um, assault went on for years and it's possible that she now even got raped along the way. Her only experience of sex is coercion, um, forceful penetration, brutality. That's all she knows. Now she's in this space where she's married to a man who is trying to be gentle, make love to her. She can't relate. And she might find that the only time she enjoys it is if she's pushed, tied, hit, or what have you. Now, if this is the case, this lady needs further help. This is not something that you can just deal with by just saying, don't do that. This is wrong because her reality is different from the explanation that you're painting right in front of her. And one thing that you need to understand about mental health is it all starts with your mind. And then it generates to your feelings and then your behavior. So she has been introduced to something that is not healthy from a very young age. So this is where her mind is. And she felt um, some sort of pleasure from all of this now. And this is her reality. And now she doesn't know how to physically enjoy something that is not brutal. So the only time she enjoys any sexual interaction is when it's forced. This is one way by which or through which um, you might find a lady being associated with BDSM, which I explained at the beginning, which is bondage, discipline, dominance, um, submission and masochism. So if you find that you are a lady who is like this, you know that this is not healthy. You shouldn't be enjoying brutal sex. You need to seek help. If you know somebody who only enjoys this, it might be your wife. 
who you find that she wants you to hit her. Please don't feel that you need to become this person who begins to hit because you don't want to displease your wife. Instead, you need to seek help for this woman. Now you might want to get her into counseling. If you have a pastor, if you have a sexual unit, you might want to get them into this. It might be getting her professional help, therapy, counseling, where they are able to see what is wrong with her. Um, get her professional help, people who are experts in dealing with this kind of thing, because we need to get to the root of this. What got her into this um, space where this is what she enjoys because it's not healthy. It's not normal that the only time um, a person enjoys this is when they are being brutalized, hit, tied to something. We're not animals, we're human beings. So something went wrong somewhere. And when you seek professional help, you're able to get to the root of this matter to ensure that this lady gets the help that she needs. So this is all I'm here to share with you today to bring awareness to this thing that is a reality because it is a reality for a lot of people. And there is a conditioning that makes us feel that we need to die in silence, bottle this up because God is going to be so angry at you. And you must understand that the sin is what God is mad at. God is not mad at you. You are his baby. He just needs you to seek help. Feel free to contact me. Feel free to get professional therapy. But for whatever or whatever it is, do not keep quiet. Thank you for watching today's video and I'll see you at the next one. Bye-bye.